Hey, everybody. Welcome to Locked on Lakers on YouTube. Brian Kamenetsky. It is a very busy day for the Lakers on day one of free agency. Uh, some good stuff and some really, really problematic stuff. Uh, I'll do the good first because, you know, people like good news. Uh, the Lakers have made three additions that work really well for them. Uh, multiple reports that they first have brought in Wayne Ellington on a one-year deal. This is a great pickup, one that a lot of people expected. Ellington is a career 38% three-point shooter, shot 44% in Detroit last year. Uh, without, I should, I think it's fair to say, the kind of playmaking that he's going to have around him in LeBron and uh, Russell Westbrook and Anthony Davis, uh, Ellington is going to have a ton of of open looks from three-point range. You can play real minutes um, for this team. Uh, and either he's going to force teams to open up lanes for Westbrook and LeBron to drive, or again, he's going to have tons of open looks. So great, great pickup there for the Lakers. Again, one that was pretty expected, as was this one. The multiple reports that the Lakers are bringing back Dwight Howard to the Lakers for a third tour of duty. Um, another good pickup for the Lakers provides uh, rim protection. We all saw what he did a couple years ago. Rim protection, one of the better backup centers in the NBA, and restores a really badly needed vertical threat on the offensive side, particularly if Westbrook gets some minutes running with second units. Um, Dwight and Westbrook are going to look good together. He can still run the floor, Dwight can, and he can get above the rim and finish. Russell Westbrook makes centers look really good. Guys like Dwight who can hang out in the dunker spot, all that. So a very solid, definitely one that was sort of expected. Um, the Lakers also brought back Trevor Ariza, which is not something that is particularly surprising. I'm not I'm not in love with this one necessarily in terms of the potential impact, although uh, he played pretty well in spots for Miami last year. He's not so much of the three guy anymore. He's a little overrated, I think, as a three-point shooter, but he's uh, still a, a pretty good defender, smart guy. Uh, Frank Vogel will have zero trouble plugging him into his defensive schemes. Um, so a solid pickup there for the Lakers. Again, all of these reported as one-year deals. Now for the bad news. The Lakers have lost Alex Caruso. Uh, Woj reporting that Caruso on his way to Chicago, nine, basically $9 million a year for four years. Uh, he goes to the Bulls, their full mid-level exception. This is a terrible blow to the Lakers. And Andy and I have talked a lot about this on the show since they made the Westbrook deal. The idea that you would let uh, Caruso go after making that trade is borderline malpractice and the idea that you would let him go for under $10 million a year. The Lakers could have matched that salary, exceeded it a little bit or whatever it needed to uh, to bring Caruso back. This is a real problem for the Lakers. Alex Caruso, say what you want about his offense, the inconsistent three-point shooting. He is one of the elite backcourt defenders in the NBA. The Lakers have traded for Russell Westbrook ostensibly to help lighten the load on LeBron uh, offensively to take some of that away. It doesn't do as much good if you make it LeBron and Anthony Davis have to work that much harder on defense. And now the Lakers have left themselves with a massive gap. This is a guy in Caruso who played critical fourth quarter minutes over the last couple seasons helped uh, keep that team together defensively there is no replacement for him whether as a uh, you know anybody they can find as a, a minimum guy a veteran you know with the veterans minimum with that larger exception that they have the Lakers are going to have to come up with something to compensate for this or go the other direction and make sure their offense is so flipping good that losing Caruso doesn't hurt them. It is going to be, they've lost now Caruso and traded away Contavious Caldwell Pope and Kyle Kuzma. That is three members, uh, more the three of the more important members of their rotation. So uh, defensive rotation, I should say. So a lot more to come on Tuesday's show about all this, but it, it's hard for me to get really excited about three very solid um, very sensible moves that the Lakers made with veterans minimum deals in Ellington, Howard, and um, and Trevor Ariza, simply because they let Alex Caruso go in what looks like something about money. They just didn't want to pay him the the luxury tax dollars and all that kind of stuff. But again, terrible thing to do. If you make the Russell Westbrook trade, you have to do it with the idea that you're going to re-sign Alex Caruso and it's going to cost you a lot of money. Um, so we'll have more about this on Tuesday's show. Please uh, make sure to, to uh, subscribe to Locked on Lakers on YouTube for all the free agency news that you need and all the analysis and obviously the podcast as well. See you next time.